Hey everyone, Scott here, and today we're diving into the new font file loader introduced in Phaser 3.87. This exciting component lets us navy load custom fonts in our Phaser 3 games without the need for a third-party web font loader or for any CSS hacks to get our custom web fonts to work with our games. So want to give your game text a personality of its own? In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to level up your Phaser 3 projects with the custom fonts using this brand new font file loader. Currently, the loader supports TrueType and OpenType fonts, so the TTF and OTF files. And if you're on an older version of Phaser, you'll need to stick with alternative methods to load your own fonts, such as using the web font loader. From setup to implementation, you'll see just how easy it is to make your text game object stand out. Let's dive in. For this demo, I've set up a simple Phaser 3 game project with some text game objects to get us started. If you'd like to follow along, you can grab the starting source code from this GitHub repository here. There'll be a link in the description of this video, as well as a link to the direct download for the starting code if you'd like to follow along. Alright, so for our demo, we'll be using two custom fonts in our game. Uh, the first one's available from Kenny's Fonts, so we'll be using the Kenny Future Narrow font type. And our second one's going to be this Press Start 2P uh, from Codeman38 that's available on, uh, as a Google font. So to start using custom fonts with our Phaser 3 game, we need to tell Phaser to load in our new custom fonts. To do this, we need to use the loader plugin, and from here, we're going to have our new font file file type loader, where we can provide the URL to the font file we like to load. If we do this in our preload method for our Phaser scene, this will guarantee our font family will be available to us before we create our text game objects in our create method, and then that way when our text is first rendered out to our game, it has the appropriate font family and we won't have a pop effect while we wait for our font to load. To do this, in our preload method, we'll do this to reference our phaser scene. We're going to do load to reference our loader plugin, and now we're going to do font. So for our font file file type loader, we need to provide our key. So this is going to be the key of where our font will be stored in our cache, and this key will also be our font family that we provide to our text game object. To get started, we're going to do this Kenny Future Nero font family here. So I'm just going to copy our key, paste it here, and now we need to provide the URL to where our asset is located. So in the project under our assets fonts, we have this Kenny Future Narrow TTF file here. Uh, we'll load that in. Uh, so we're going to do assets. We'll do fonts. And now I'm just going to copy our file name here. We'll paste that in. And now we just want to provide the format of our file type. And so this is just going to be a string of either true type or open type, depending on your file. Since we have a true type file, the .ttf, we're going to do true type. So now when we save our game, we'll see right away our game refreshes, and now our text game object down here has been updated to use our new custom font. And so just to see one more example, uh, we're going to load in our press start 2p font, and so we're just going to copy this. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. I'm going to copy my font family. We'll just update this here. Now for the URL, we're just going to copy this from the starting code, paste that in. Now if we save, we'll see now our second game object has been updated, and now it's using our custom font. And that's it. So with just these few lines of code, we can now easily load in our custom font files and use them in our game. And we no longer have to do hacks with CSS or rely on third party web font loaders uh, to get our custom fonts working with our game. All right, with that, that brings this video to an end. So as a reminder, there is a link in the description of the video to complete source code for this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the content. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking the video and hitting the bell icon to be notified when the next video is released. For more great Phaser 3 content, please send the links on your screen now.